Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, basket makers. This is Stephanie with Right On Skill Creations. I am coming back with a video. I am doing some bows today. And I want to show you the, the, the gadget that I use. Now, this is called the Deluxe Easy Bow Maker. I love this gadget. I love it so much. I use it for every bow I make. Small, large, medium, doesn't even matter. Um, this is a great tool to have for those who suffer with arthritis in their hands. Also, those who just starting out um, making bows. So, I promise you, it's great investment to have. Um, I got this at Amazon about three years ago. Um, and I, I really love it. Um, it comes with a ribbon holder. Also, three pegs. Now, these pegs are kind of wide because it's an old, it's an old now. Um, but it'll widen it up as much ribbon that you put inside of it. It has a ruler to measure um, your loops and your tails. So, um, yeah. So, let's get started. What you need, you're going to need a pipe cleaner. Now, what I do with my pipe cleaners, if I just want to do something jazzy, I take two different colors and I just twist it up. You may, you're not going to see it, but I just like doing it that way. I don't know. So what we're going to do, you have your pipe cleaner here. You need a pair of scissors and some ribbon. Now, I have four different types of ribbon here. I have a two-inch ribbon that I got from Amazon. This is a beautiful uh, Valentine pattern. I have a one-inch ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. It was... It was original price $5. I got it for $125. Also, I have two ribbons I got from Sam. I got a, a, two, in, a two and a half inch candy stripe ribbon. Beautiful ribbon from Sam's. And also a solid red ribbon. It's kind of shiny. These are like Christmas ribbon, but you still can use it for Valentine's Day, of course. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our pipe cleaner and we're going to stick it in between the two taller uh, columns. I'm gonna call them columns, okay? Put them here. And you wanna get it out your way, so I just tuck, tuck it under, okay? And I'm gonna show you why we put the pipe cleaner there first, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work with the, the base. So I'm gonna use the solid red color first. And I'm going to put it into the spool holder here. And I always ducktail. Now you're going to notice um, I'm left-handed, like I, I think I told you guys before, but I'm left-handed. So you, you notice that it's probably going to be uh, folded backwards. <laughs> but this is your ducktail. And do you want to you want to measure it? So I'm going to do it about six inches here. I'm going to say about six inches my tail. I'm just going to put it here. Now you can make your tail as long as you want. Um, for those who make in reefs, you might want them longer, like a 10 inch tail or just a regular size gift. I'm just, I'm doing a regular size gift basket. So I'm just going to use six inches. Okay. Six to eight inches like that. So we're going to slide it. Um, and also this ribbon is double sided. So it's the same pattern on both sides. So you don't have to do too much twisting. So we're going to put that here. And we're going to bring the tail down. Roll out your ribbon. Now, as you see, there's numbers on, on this deluxe bow maker for your loops, okay? So I want to do about a five-inch loop. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to take my finger, and I'm going to put it right on the five-inch right here. And sometimes I like to flatten it out so I can know it's exactly on the five, okay? I'm going to push it down. Then you're going to take, you're going to move that tail over. And then you're going to do it again on this side. Same way, push it down. Hold that finger there to the next, to the other five on the other side. Okay? So I want to do another two loops on each end. So I'm going to hold it up, push it down. Make another loop, same way. Now you can push the loops up some, 
So you can see what you're doing. So that's another five right there. Hold it up. Five again. See that? And then you can just push it up a little. Just move your loops out some, like, like so. And then you're going to cut. Then again, it depends on how many, how big you want your bow. Okay, all right. So that's that pattern. That's your base. Okay. Put my pin back in there. All right. Now we're gonna do the the two inch candy stripe ribbon. Then we'll put this here. Roll it out, ducktail first. That's what I do. You, some people ducktail last, but I like to ducktail first. Okay, I'm gonna slide it in. Now this is a one-sided, so you're gonna do some twisting here, but not too much. So you're gonna slide it down, measure it right here to the other tail. Twist. I'm gonna bring it right to the end of the other one, which is already five. You can push that out the way if you want. Put your finger there, that's a five, okay? Push it down, a twist. Put your finger here again. Make sure that's five inches right here. Five, five inch loop right there. Okay. Bring it up, push it down. I'm gonna make another loop. Okay. I'm gonna measure the same way. About five here. It looks about five, it might be four but I want it to be five, so I'm gonna bring it back out with my finger here. Yep, that's five. Push it down. There we go, that side. That's about five. Okay, you don't have to be precise too much. The bow is gonna look very good once you finish with it. What you see I'm doing, I'm just trying to make sure it's proportion. Okay. I'm gonna cut. My left-handed self, huh? You know President Obama was left-handed. I thought it was a cool thing. So many of us are left-handed out here. Who do you know that's left-handed in your family? Anyone in your family left-handed? My mother used to say I owe someone a day's work. I don't owe anybody nothing. <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, so next I'm gonna use the two inch, uh, I mean the two inch um, Valentine type print. Again, I'm going to ducktail it first. And this will probably run out to about four, four inches four inch loop, but I'll make the tail about the same. And push it down. As you see, this is a good side, bad side. So this is the one-sided ribbon. And push it down. Ooh, I'm running out of this ribbon. So this will probably measure out to four, right here. Push it and twist. Okay, and again, that's about four. Yeah, okay. Look at that. It's looking good already, huh? Looking good already. And I'm just gonna do two loops of those. I hope I didn't cut it too short. 
this is for demonstration purposes. Okay. You can fluff as you go if you like. It's up to you. Look at that so far. Now we're going to, the last one we're going to use is the one and a half inch ribbon. Do my ducktail. Put it on the spool holder. Now this is double sided, so you ain't got to do a lot of twisting. Push it down, bring it up. Probably try to measure two to four as well. Push it up, push it in. That, like so. Make sure it's around the same proportion. Tell that. Boom. Okay. And that is your ribbon. So far looking good. So now, this is the stem part. The reason why you put the stem inside first because you have so much ribbon. And if you try to do it um, without the stem in there, Sometimes your ribbon at the, the base ribbon will come apart and you have to start all over. And you do not want that because I have done that before. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and pull up. Come on. Push it down. Make sure you got all your ribbon. And there you go, you have all the ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over and tie it real tight. I like to just press it down on the on the table and just twist it myself like that. You see my ribbon and came apart. I mean my pipe cleaners came apart. You want to twist it, bring it back over, and fluff. <sighs> like so. And you can like take your, it's good to have a wired ribbon. And you just take your hands and just fold it under like so. That's what I like to do. Take my fingers, fold it. Make sure you fluff it out very well. Still working on it, still fluffing it out. You want it perfect, but it's not always going to be perfect. There you go. That's my that's my ribbon. That's my version of the ribbon. If you want, you can like pull this a little more. I'm gonna pull this just a little more. 
because I don't like the sides of how that one looks. So you can just pull a little bit of it. Let's pull some more. I don't. I like it tinier. Okay. How does that look, everybody? Y'all like it? And there you go. I'm gonna cut this some more. I always try to measure the tail. I always try to put the tail right beside another tail. And just cut. Yeah, there you go. And there you have it. Really simple, really easy to use. Um, not hurting your hands so much. Not hurting your hands at all, actually. The bow maker does everything for you. You don't have to struggle or, or uh, be in pain or anything. So there you go. That is a nice Valentine's Day bow. So I hope you guys like this video. Please continue to watch. Um, if you have any questions, put in the comments. I try to answer as much questions as I can. I appreciate all the comments and I appreciate all the subscribers that are subscribing to my channel. Um, blessings to you all. So until the next video, talk to you guys later. Bye.